and create Fabio! I'm Kate Firmer and I'm Sophia Kyofis and we are your hosts and today we're doing our February wrap up. Yeah! Yeah! So let's get started. The month of love. The month of love. So neither of us had any one or two star reads this month. Which is very good. Very good. Nothing we didn't like, which yeah. is fun. So I'm gonna start off with my three star read. I only have one. And it's I still liked it. <laughs> It is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reads. I liked it. It was fun. It's just I could not get behind the interview part. It just is not what I want out of a book. But that's just personal. It's like totally personal. I know it's a really good book. I know a lot of people love it. Don't come for me. Don't attack me because I get it. <laughs> I get the love. I just I like to know what's going on in their heads. I like mm -hmm. reading about it. And I didn't get any in this because it's interview style. But I liked it. Mm -hmm. And we're excited for the show! We've we watched it by now. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna go watch this. it right after this. Yay! <laughs> Do you have a three? Yes. Um, this is more like a 3.5. I really like this. This is X's and O's by Amy Leah. I mean, this covers literally everything. It's so cute. Um, but like, it was just a normal romance. It, nothing, it was nothing like wrong with it. Like, there were no parts that bothered me. I wasn't mad about anything. It just like was good. And it's great. it didn't really like did what you wanted stand out. Yeah. But it You're was not super, gonna, like... super cute. It follows a bookstagrammer, which is really fun. And her um sister gets engaged and she lives with her sister, so she's like, "Well, now that you're engaged, I kind of need to move out because you need to start your life with your new ma with your man's." So she moves in with this random guy, and they become friends. And you'll have to see what happens between them. Moving on to four stars, we have my first one, "The Light After the War" by Atina Abreu. Um, it is a post World War II book about two best friends, basically sisters, who survived World War II and now have to restart their lives over again. And they're very young. They're like 18. Mm. And um, they don't have any family left. They're kind of on their own. And it is so good. It's so heartwarming. Um, totally found family. Very, very great fiction book. Thank you for listening by Julia Whelan. Um, this book follows an, a popular audiobook narrator, which is really fun because the woman who wrote this book is a popular audiobook narrator. Exciting. So it's kind of like... Is this you? Is this you and your experience? <laughs> and she narrates the audiobook of this book, and that's what I listen to. It follows the audiobook narrator, and she is asked to narrate a romance book by this, uh, this super popular romance author that she has kind of this like connection with. She doesn't narrate romance anymore. So she gets paired up with this other audiobook narrator who's a man, man and they start mm. corresponding through emails and stuff and texts and kind of becoming friends. And Maybe yeah. More. My next four stars is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. This is the cutest lol romance ever. It's a trope that I don't see a lot. It's type A, like extreme type A with extreme type B, mm. which is super fun. They kind of bring out the best in each other mm -hmm. and you know, they kind of work through their internal issues that causes these behavioral stimulations to happen in their feelings. And the characters are so cute because they're so out of the box. And I love in like a, especially like a rom-com kind of mm -hmm. book when the characters are kind of larger than life. Yeah. And not super relatable because it just makes it so fun. Yeah. And so atypical because now it, you know, especially when it comes to a romance novel, they all start to sound the same and it's kind of the same story you're reading over and over again. And it was fun to read something that's very different than the majority. Mm -hmm. This is better than the movies by Lynn Painter. I loved this. It was just so relatable. It felt like I was in a high school rom-com movie. Like it gave me, um... To all the boys I loved before, vibes, and I love that movie. So it was really fun 
to feel like I was in that in this book follows this girl who her childhood crush moves back to town mm -hmm. and she wants him to notice her and think of her in a new light than just the her childhood self so she asks Wes her next door neighbor who they kind of have like a rivalry in a sense I wouldn't say they're enemies because that's like too intense but they kind of like bicker and stuff to pretend to be interested in her and like that they're kind of dating so that the other guy will like think of her as like an adult oh. and you know how that always ends up cute. so it's really really cute and yeah moving on to five star reads five. so i'm gonna start off with one of my favorite romance series of all time <gasps> wow that is bold i know in the Weeds and Mixed Signals by B.K. Borison, you guys! The, the Love Light Farm series has my whole entire heart. I think I read both of these in like two days. I just cannot put B.K. Borison's books down. They're so cute. I loved this that they're all in the same world and they follow these characters. These characters are just so wholesome. Mm. And they can do no wrong, and they don't make any wrong choices, and it just yeah. makes you so happy all the time. There's, like, no miscommunication and stuff. There's, like, a little bit, but it's always solved in a healthy way. Yeah. It's like they acknowledge the miscommunication. They're adults. They're adults. Read them. So well written. So good. My next five-star reads is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This book is so different from what... I read, I feel like I read two very different books for me this month. Um, and it was really good for me. Mm -hmm. This book revolves around two black sisters one, who vanish. One goes off to live, you know, within her culture as a black woman. She marries a black man. Mm -hmm. And one goes off and passes as white in the 50s? I don't remember exactly, but it's back when segregation was still really big and um, it was illegal to do so mm -hmm. and very frowned upon. And she lives as a white woman, um, cuts off her whole entire family to start her life as a white person and how their lives slowly revolve around each other. My last book and my only five star, <laughs> Five Survive. <laughs> by Holly Jackson. This is her new book. She wrote a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, which I read and really enjoyed. Um, and this was kind of a, a, some on a similar vein. It's still a thriller, but it's it's felt a little less YA than A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Ooh. I honestly think... You're spooked. <laughs> I was spooked. I don't know if this is YA. It had high school characters, so that's why it's YA, but it was very, like, a spooky, like, um, uh, more mature topics, and it was kind of creepy. So basically it follows this group of friends who are on a road trip to meet their school friends at a uh, spring break vacation, and it's going to take a couple days, so they stop at the night for the night to sleep in this campsite, but it's kind of off the road and they're a little bit lost and they get stuck there but someone is there keeping them there and the only way that they can get out of this situation alive is if someone spills the secret that this person that's keeping them there knows oh my gosh it's so like, they have to try uh, pretty little liars yeah so someone is there like kind of harassing them and they you know it's one of those things where they're all kind of turning on each other but they also have to work together if they want to survive and um I really enjoyed it I was on my toes it was a bit spooky but I thought that the characters although that the, all of them were pretty unlikable that kind of made it interesting because you couldn't figure out who was the one with the secret because they were all unlikable you're like any mm. of them could have a secret so you were really thrown off at the end yeah and there was a part of the story that 
kind of tugged at your heart and came full circle in the end Aww. and made me cry. And I don't cry a lot in books. You so don't? I was That's not huge. surprised to... Where was this I, book the last yeah, challenge we did? I was like, I was surprised that I cried in this because I, usually with thrillers, they're not very emotional. Yeah. They're kind of just like shocking and have twists and turns. So Fine. I really liked it a lot. And I think that you guys should... You would too. Read it. The next three books I have that are five stars are all rereads. So... Y'all know if you've been watching us, I'm doing the Harry Potters. The Harry Potters. <laughs> Six and seven, five stars. They're great. You know Harry Potter. You mm -hmm. guys know. They're yeah. good. You have of to course. give them five stars, and they're so fun. And then I started rereading our favorite A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I finished the first one so fast. Mm. I'm listening to the dramatized version, so it's a full cast, and there's, you know, the background music and the sound effects, and it's so fun. It's so good. Highly recommend if you're going to listen to it. It brings it to life. Yeah. I love it. That's our month! Yay! We did it! So, we're going to start a new um, way to pick a book for our TBR. This month, we're doing it. A little bit different than we're gonna do moving forward but this month Kate is going to pick a book that I'm gonna read from my TBR and I'm gonna pick one from hers that she has to read and then Not has to, but, next you know. month you guys get to help us pick yeah on our Instagram so go on follow Instagram. us on Sophie and Kate reads cuz we're gonna post a poll so if you want to help us pick Please out a book do it you got to follow us on there all right so do you wanna do it? Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. Don't do me dirty. Don't do me dirty. Because <laughs> I have some books I'm scared of. Five, Should six, we pull them out like yeah. we're giving birth? Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> oh! Oh! Okay, we okay. both have wanted each other to read this <laughs> one. <laughs> so Kate picked the book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. Suzak. Good. For me. And Sophia picked The Deal by L. Kennedy for me. Yes. So, super exciting. I've been wanting Sophia to read this book for so long. Yes, I need to. And you need to because you love it. I, mean, I love the movie. You love the movie and you love World War II books. I do love World War II. Anything. It's just so it's interesting. so interesting. So, yay. I'm excited. Amazing. Tracy, you so, here's your book back. Yeah, here's your book back. <laughs> oh my gosh, Merry Christmas! Yes. Okay, so we gotta... Okay. This is... Uh, I mean, it looks big, but it's big. The no, and there's like some sections that are pictures and stuff. Yeah. And it goes like that. Yeah. And it it's goes really, really fast. Perfect. I'm excited. Like, comment, subscribe. All the things. And we'll see you guys next time on Drink, Read, Fabio. Bye. Bye.